So let's just go here to the Denville, Denville train station here. Um, this is using a modern topographical map, but this is what it, I guess, looked like in 1970. Here you've got um, Route 46 here. You've got Fox Hill Road. This is kind of the crossings that I really want them to remove, even though they might not. I mean, this is, I guess, a different part of the line here. Yeah, I mean, you've got a full parking lot here. I think you've got a train station. But see, this is multiple tracks. This is two two tracks. And they decided, eh, we might as well remove it. And they did. And it's kind of stupid. Wait, is it single? No, is it still single track? Okay, this is 1957. This is in what is considered the heyday of the line. You've got a lot of tracks here. It was known as a freight um, freight line. It, it's called the boot and cutoff. Now, I like going to this website for reference about what everything used to look like in the old days because it's a good reference and it shows, oh, well, actually, people really, actually, everything was nice back in the day. So you've got all the buildings here. You've got aerials from 1915, 1913. No, shoot, why am I saying 13? 2015, 13, 12, 10, 8. But I mostly look at um, between 1957, um, 1987, 1995. I mean, because usually that's when highways were constructed and everything. Just to show you the overview of what everything looked like. Then you, you go to 1963, and that is when, like, 287 originally ended, and it this is 1995, immediately after the highway was completed. But in 1987 is when, like, I guess 287 was not, was not really completed until uh, it really passed, you know, this intersection here. And 202, I mean, it's every – it's a little off from what it is today, I mean, because – 287 ended at 202, 202 and 287 are like the same highway here. But let's go back. So you've got the Booten branch here. It's still one, it's still single track. Um, there are some points where it should be two tracks, especially here. Um, but I understand, like, okay, where well, there's a lot of businesses here. But this is built for two. I mean, it's definitely for two tracks. It should be two tracks. I mean, it really should be. Um, now, of course, you look at the grade crossings here, but there's a good place here called Fossil Farms. Uh, but if you look at the grade crossing, I mean, obviously it's modified, but it wasn't originally one track. On the side of the road, you have a do not enter sign, which usually meant there was a like a double track this this is obviously like um there was obviously two tracks here before new Jersey transit decided and we're going to wrap it up and only give one track this the booting line in this section has been neglected for years it's almost like west of dover to hackettstown they don't really care about it they don't think people are going to use it um which i find to be a complete travesty i mean Come to think of it, half of the old train stations here, like um, Tawako Station, this is a this is a place called Rail State. This is a steakhouse, and then you've got um, kind of approaching what is known as Mountain View Junction immediately after Lincoln Park. That it remove it like resumes the double track here for some random reason. I mean. You can't tell me that all of a sudden that that I mean there is enough room for you to have two tracks it and it can easily be completed in that right of way. But New Jersey Transit I guess just doesn't have the time or money to sit there and upgrade a, a train line that they think people won't use. It goes through areas that the Marston line our, uh, the line in Marstown won't go to and allows people to like go to like places like the Willowbrook Mall. Um, and this is Mountain View Junction. So pretty much this is the original Greenwood Lake that would go all the way up to Wayne and everything. But then you've got Junction here, the Susquehanna. Uh, or no, that's, no, wait, no, that's Susquehanna. Then you, then this, 
Mountain View or uh, no is this Mountain View yes Mountain View that has original Lackawanna tra uh, Lackawanna station here but it's not it wasn't originally um, two track it was originally two tracks that's just my um, no wait no wait that's West Belt Station no it's still Mountain View never mind but like I was saying I think they should do that and then you've got this station uh, Route 23 Transit Center, but it's not used. It's only used for buses and season used for trains. I mean, I understand. Um, there are a lot of online forums I follow that allow that statement to happen, but you've got enough. I think they have enough room for at least two tracks. I mean, it is possible here for two tracks. I mean, in, I mean, see, there's a lot of sidings. That's the problem. I mean, there is enough room for two tracks in in the right of way. I, that's just my thought about it. I mean, you could run a diesel train. I mean, easily, easily enough room for two. I mean, that's just the way I think about the line. Is like, wait, why is it single track? If there are view, videos and views about this line that are, you know, double track, oh, they're so, like, they're also double track. I mean, there is enough room in this right of way for there to be double track. I mean, it, I mean, there, there won't be, I mean, because there, like I said, there's a lot of sidings. And the way these overpasses are constructed, yes, it has two tracks. And the two tracks actually begin past, um, this yard right here so yes it is possible to add two tracks because from the line from Montclair State University even Mon even Little Falls Yard this is Little Falls Yard uh, the tracks are it's easily I mean you could easily do that this is a view from I forgot what bridge this is this road is Actually, I have no idea. It should say it. Um, oh, Long Hill Road, I think. So over here is the former Great Notch Station, which they had the clothes, which I kind of understand why. Um, but you can see here that there easily is enough room to add an extra track. Um... The track does end right over here. It just dead ends. Like it's stupid. It just dead ends here. It doesn't continue. Um, you know, of course, you've got great, great notch yard, former, um, former junction to um, what it, what was formerly known the um, Caldwell branch that went to Caldwell, Verona, and then went to the Mars Down Erie. This I will show you really quick. Um, the future bike path from Roseland train station that will, I don't know if that will actually connect because, you know, the way the future is, but from here, 280, the original right of way went all through here and connected all the way to, uh, Caldwell and then went all the way to, all the way went went over here so that's what I'll, that's where it actually went no it actually not went there but the junction is like right here i think this is is this overlook no it's not overlook hospital is it it's overlook over 23 i don't remember but see the junk it used to go over here and it used to go around so um it's just a quick little video i'm doing here but i'm just going to show you that this line the that that all these Deserve overpasses, overpass here, overpass here. I mean, that's just my opinion about it. Fut and they're my plans, they're not Nutrient Transit plans. It's just my brainstorming ideas. But I just I think the Denver station should be reopened, and I really think the Booten line should at least have two tracks because they have random tracks here that just oh, it's just randomly oh, you can't access the two tracks. I'm like, I'm you know, it just merges into one. I mean, you, the Booten line should not have two. 
It never, it never always had two. It had one. And then you have these random tracks here to just go up, like, back here randomly that go to, like, uh, they originally went to, like, Rockaway and everything. That was a Rockaway branch back in the old days. You used the right of way of Route 80 and went all the way, like, uh, and this railroad actually here is part of the Rockaway branch slash um, Ledridge branch because this does go through Rockaway and there was an original train station, I think, on East Main Street, according to one of the maps I have. But that's just a historical overview of Rockaway. Now, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, just a quick little overview video of, you know, this stuff and everything. But And then, of course, you've got my Marston and Erie plans here. Um, this is the site of the Marston and Erie transfer station right on Martin Luther King Road. Um, Martin Luther King Road. Uh, sorry, Martin Luther King Avenue. This is a road called Cole Avenue. It turns into bit. bit. This is originally known as Water Street. Apparently, according to my grandmother, who's lived in Marston for years. But so, this is the overview of if there was a station here. Basically, it would be a transfer stop, mostly to connect to uh, to that here. But you've got this parking lot that is like unused, and that would be a way to get to the train station. Now, the reason I go this way all the time, or the reason I know it so well, is because I take tech, I go to Taekwondo every day, and this parking lot is just unused. I, I never see cars in it. Um, and, of course, you've got Patriot's Path. Just continues randomly, I guess. Um, but this would be a future station stop right here with the parking um, with the, at the Colab parking lot. You know, I guess, I don't know what it's used for, but this would be a transfer stop just for these tracks. And even add like an extra track here because this is used for the substation. It actually goes by Patriot's Path and also goes by Lake Pocahontas. So this is Speedwell Park, Lake Pocahontas. Lake Pocahontas is not existing anymore. Though there are streets that do overlook the river. I mean, or the lake. Um, and of course it connects to Speedwell Lake, which should have a, um, have a connection here, but that's just me. Of course, you've got different streets, junctions here, um, different parts of paths. So that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. I'll get you a Battlefront video as soon as I can. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Peace out.